why someone tried to play me in the comments and say they thought my wig fell off when I went down in the water. My overall review. Hey girl, welcome to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Naomi and I do all things motherhood, lifestyle, and faith. So if that's your jam, make sure you subscribe. Click that subscribe button and stick around for a while if you're not new here. Hey girl, hey, it is, I don't even know where my phone is, but oh, it's right in front of me. It is Saturday, it's currently, it's seven o'clock and I just like got up to do things around the house. Today was a very slow morning. We were binge watching Grey's Anatomy, first of all. It has us in a literal chokehold. Season 20 just came out, but I literally stopped watching, I think like halfway. Because I was literally crying every other episode. And I said, I can't live like this. So my boyfriend started getting into it, watching it. And I was like tagging along here and there. And I got to mess it again. I'm always on go, like go, 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 go. And he was like, babe, like it's okay if you have like a slow morning. You don't have to wake up and be on go. Like just relax so you don't get burnt out. And then later you're asleep, passed out because you were just overexerting yourself. And I said, you are right. So we had a slow morning. Um, we had some time together, just binge watching the show. I took a little nap in the afternoon. Of course, I have guilt of not doing anything, anything productive. So that's what we're about to do since it's literally almost seven o'clock. Um, <laughs> anyways, I wanted to do a quick product review because ma'am, my hair, my hair. Yes, ma'am. Do you see my hair? She looks great. She looks great. If you didn't watch my last vlog, I got in PR from HairWow and they sent me over products from their new curl line. So these are the two products that I used in my hair. I washed my hair yesterday and baby, these two products, these two products are chef's kiss. One is a serum and the other is like a styling plus like oil infusion so it's usually separated the color is really cool and new shape to combine them and essentially it's like a styling like a styling conditioner and then they have a bunch of oils on top which is great because if you know curly hair is very dry okay she's bone dry and she needs moisture to thrive these products really did what they had to do because my hair feels great she feels soft I know she's hydrated and can we get into the definition and can we get into how it didn't weigh my hair down? Okay, I don't like wet dog looking hair. I like some volume to my life. And she really did what she was supposed to do. So curl shook, literally left me shook. So that's a perfect way to describe it. And it's really lightweight. This serum is my favorite out of the two. I feel like this is what really made my hair define and this helped in making it very moisturized i just thought i would come and give a quick review since we did unbox it last week and i didn't want to leave you guys in suspense that is my overall review for both of these i would highly recommend off of first use i love it and she delivered she definitely Good. delivered now that we are up and active, I am gonna put some clothes away, especially in Kay's room. I started folding some of his clothes here, and then this basket is also all of his clothes folded. So we're gonna go ahead and put that away. But before we even do, we rearranged our room. I was also saying in our last vlog that I wanted to do this because it was just time for a change. Now I feel like we have more space to work with and I like that the windows are, like nothing's blocking the windows because light can get in so much easier and I love a bright space. We moved our bed here, the TV is over here and then our desk is right here by the closet. And he got me some roses last week. Yeah. They're still thriving. 
Roses are my favorite flowers. Just a fun fact. So, yeah, that's really all for the update. Funny. Sunday just finished getting ready for church I did my skincare as you guys can see and I took my hair out of my satin scarf I use a scarf to preserve my curls when I go to sleep only because I like the volume that it gives like it doesn't take away from the volume of my hair if I sleep with a bonnet sometimes it would squish it all up like this and then I look like a poodle. So I don't want to go for poodle look. I want to give voluminous. I want to give wig. Speaking about wig, tell me how I posted a video on my new Instagram. It was like a reel of me and my man getting baptized. And it went viral. It has like 230k views on it. And... Why someone try to play me in the comments and say they thought my wig fell off when I went down in the water? Because the transition I did, I put myself going down and my man coming up. Clearly, my man is like 50 shades darker than me. He is a black tatted man. So I was confusion. I was trying to give them grace. Okay, I really was. And the Holy Spirit was working in me because I wanted to be smart. I wanted to be super smart. And I was like, baby, that's literally a black man coming up out of that water. How do you confuse the two? My light skin, white self, and my man. So, yeah, that, that's what I strive for. I strive for my hair to give wig. For it to look so good that it gives wig. Yeah, I love that. I love that for me. But, yeah, that's just a little tidbit I wanted to say. If you want to preserve your curls at night, satin is always going to be your best friend, whether that's on a pillowcase your bonnet or scarf i personally prefer a scarf this is what we're going with today very natural very minimalistic okay and what else i gotta say after church we're gonna run some errands so what we're gonna take you guys along when you go grocery shopping we gotta go to aldi's and we're gonna see if we can stop by lowe's to get those nails for the mirror so that we could just do the front entryway because it's kind of like eating me alive a little bit that we still 
having God and everything put up over there. So that's the plan so far. We're gonna head out to church and I'll see you guys afterwards. <music> church we ran our errands we went to Aldi's and then we went to Lowe's we did a little quick stop at Sonic to get ourselves some milkshakes they are so good my boyfriend actually put me on because I'm not really a sweet type of girl I'm more of like a salty savory snack person but that blast that M&M blast I will eat so let's do a really quick Aldi haul before I put everything away, I did like minor meal planning for this week just so I'm not like making the same things over and over again. So, what did I do? I did like chicken and turkey sausage, um, Cajun pasta, I did shrimp tostadas, we're gonna have salmon with rice. And I got a pack of ground turkey. We usually just do tacos with that as like a last easy resort. But those are some of the meals that we are creating this week. Anyway, let's get into the haul. So chicken broth, two mango pico de gallos. This is my boyfriend's favorite snack. So he'll eat those with these chips. Multi-green, uh, what are these? Tortilla chips. These are so good. Like, I put him onto them and he loves them. I used to write these in college. I would eat them with um, hummus, like red roasted pepper hummus, and it was, it was so good. We got two packs of these as well. Raspberry lemonade, the turkey sausage, ground turkey. This is the best salmon from Aldi's. I really like how they season them and it's just very flavorful. Chicken tenderloins. Two bags of shrimp. One and two. We also got chicken flatbread pizza. Something quick, something easy to throw into the oven but also something that tastes great. So if you haven't tried these from Aldi's, this is a great Aldi find and just like a quick simple dinner meal. Picked up two of those tostadas, juice for K. I got these protein energy bars because I'm really bad at eating breakfast in the morning, especially when it comes to work. So I figured this would be like a good meal replacement for the mornings. They are cookie dough flavor and it's supposed to be like a protein energy bar. So I'm praying that they actually give me energy because there's nothing more that I need to get to work and to get through the work day. I picked up some yogurt because my boyfriend got granola yesterday, but he doesn't really like it. He's not a big fan. So I usually like granola only when it's with yogurt and this is like a cookies and cream one. He picked it up yesterday when we went to Target. So I'm going to put these two together and again bring it to work for breakfast. Or just to have like a quick breakfast meal because I always neglect breakfast and then I wonder why I'm cranky, moody, and have no energy throughout the day. Butter, some asparagus because I want to make garlic butter chicken with asparagus for one of our dinner meals parmesan cheese cheeses and i got these like gogurt dupes for k he loves these he tears them up okay we started going on walks since it's starting to get nicer out every day and when we come back this is usually his snack so he loves them so much. I picked up two and it's low fat yogurt. So it's 1% milk. Highly recommend for an after school snack, pasta and fruit snacks. These are our favorites, the Black Forest. They have like fruit juice inside of them. So these are really good. We tear these up, okay? That's, that's something 
I would say about us is that we tear up those fruit snacks. That was all that we got from Aldi. We went to Lowe's and we picked up the screws that we need to hang up the mirror. So we'll probably do that a little bit later. It's still kind of early. It's 1, 1 16. So it's still early. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. And I'll pick you guys back up a little later. I'll probably put away his diapers and organize them on his door organizer so that they're just out and ready to grab. That's one thing I've been doing recently that I really feel like helps me in the mornings when packing his diaper bags for daycare. I just unload all of his diapers into the organizer I have on the back of his door and I'll just grab. Okay, we'll just grab, grab, grab. And it just makes it easier. Less clutter, less mess, more organization. Who doesn't love that? So we'll probably do that and then I'll pick you guys back up when we're hanging up the mirror. You call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny Yeah No longer blinded I can see you I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awaken me from death God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I live God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Godly way Close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I know you know me well I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are I wonder if you'll leave for me God, just tell me what you need for me it is nine o'clock. Baby is bathed and fed, but he won't go to sleep. So <laughs> what are we doing? We are putting up the mirror. We are putting, we are putting, me. We are putting me. up the mirror. The next day, it's Monday. Last night, as you guys can see, we had a spur of energy literally at 9 30, 10 o'clock, and decided to put up our mirror and the key holder in the entryway. So I wanted to show you guys. Duh. Um, Kay is taking a nap, surprisingly. I picked him up from daycare today, and I guess he was just ran out of energy because he is knocked out on the couch. That man is knocked out. Um, but yeah, this is what our entryway looks like. It's all finished and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so this is the shoe rack. I already showed you guys this. We got it off of Amazon and we're gonna get more to expand out because we still have like these boots and slippers over here. So we're gonna get more, expand out, throw this away. We got this mirror at TJ Maxx, it was like 30 bucks, a great steal. And then my man hung up the key holder. Although I don't know how to feel about this wall because it's just so bare. Like I should have got black, but I literally have black decor everywhere in the house. And I wanted to do something different. I was like, Naomi, 
we got to get something else. You can't be all black everything. And I know I shouldn't want my gut because it just looks, it just looks bland. I'm thinking we can maybe get like a plant at TJ Maxx and introduce some greenery into this wall or something, girl, because I just don't know. I don't know if I should have told my man to put the mirror a little like further down or if this is okay. I don't know, girl, but yeah, that's basically our entryway. I'm trying to get a good angle for you guys. I definitely want to work on getting a wider lens just so like I could fit everything. But, but yeah, that's basically what we ended up doing last night. I think it turned out pretty good, if I must say so myself. I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because I just wanted to do like a few days in my life i'm not really doing anything exciting this week so i don't really want to keep dragging on the vlog you know what i mean thank you guys so much for watching and if you made it to the end comment down your favorite parts of this video or any other video suggestions that you guys have because i will gladly put them out i'm usually like always doing weekly vlogs and if you guys have any other recommendations, please let your girl know. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for sticking to the end of the vlog. I love you so, so, so much. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because you're going to love it here. You're just going to love it here. That is something I can guarantee. So, bye girl. I'll catch you in the next vlog.